What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna spill some major melody sauce for you guys. Basically, I'm just gonna break down a few mistakes that can really like ruin your melodies and like make them sound like you don't really know what the hell you're doing. You don't have to be Mozart to like fix these mistakes, but it does help to just kind of like slowly train your ear to understand what's going on. And before we get started, make sure you go follow me on social media at Enviral, especially Instagram, because I just dropped my free melody kit. So if you want to go check that out, it's 10 crazy loops that you guys can use to cook up with. All right, so let's get started by laying down some chords. I'm just going to, we're just going to stay in C, C major, so all the white notes. So I'll just start probably like uh, F. So I'll just make them whole notes. So first you want to do, like if you want a good chord progression, lay down your bass notes. Although I usually play it out, but like I'm gonna draw it in for you guys. And then I'll go to D minor and then G major. Alright, so this is the chord progression I have. Very, very simple chords. Uh, it goes from F major, A minor, D minor to G major. So now I'm just going to show you guys, if you put a top melody on these chords, the rules you need to follow to make the melody flow and kind of loop back into itself because you don't want it to just kind of like go somewhere and like you know lead off the melody always has to return home somehow and like the loop has to keep going so like that's the so that's what we're going to do um So the first main thing that you have to understand is like each scale has certain tones that like lead up to each other. So, so in the key of C, we have our root note is C, so C over here, and we have, um, that's called the tonic. So this is essentially the most like right note in the scale. Almost all chords, C is going to sound good with it. But as you can see in the last chord, which is G major, the C wants to go down to the B because the B because the note B is part of the G chord, which is as you can see, we have B over here and I have it just over here. We have the B over here. That's part of the chord. So that's why in the melody, it would be more natural to put a B than a C for this chord. But the main concept is for these chords, the scale to use since we're in the key of C would be C major. And in the key of C, we have two leading tones. And so leading tones is basically uh, your third, which is our E, and our B, which is the seventh. Always want to go up. Always want to go up to kind of resolve. So in the case of B, it always wants to go up to the C to resolve because that's the last note of the scale. And it would be super unnatural to just like end a melody on this. Like, you know, it always wants to go. So if you have a melody that goes from B to C, that would be natural. Also from uh, E to F, it's also natural. So like, um, so you want to kind of incorporate that in your melody. So let's get started and I'll show you guys along the way. Another thing that you want to consider is like your melody should follow um, the main notes should be part of the chord. So if we start with F major, you could start on F, uh, a or C and then kind of just like ride along So as you can see in this case my melody ends on an E for this F chord but I am going down to the next chord, which is A minor. So that's okay because you're kind of leading to it. So you want to make the notes kind of, you know, lead to the next chord. And then I'm feeling like going up again. And as 
you can see, I went up to the E, but then I didn't end there because if I ended on E, let's say, it's not really that natural. You can use it because there's no rules to music really, but if you want the most natural progression as you're learning, it would be going to it would be to go down to the D because our third chord is D minor. And the D is part of the note. So you can go up to the E and then lead back down to the D because that would be the most natural thing to do because those because those two notes are next to each other in the scale. So if you go down from E to D, it's a natural progression. And then as you can see, my second note over here is also A, which is part of the chord. So just follow the notes that are in the chord as you're slowly building your melody. And then over here, as you heard, you could do that where the note kind of like doubles over here because my, my B is the third of my G chord. But I what I would do is I would uh, find a different way of kind of leading to this B that it doesn't repeat. So it, it's more natural, like, uh, you know, that, that feels better, like going down to the B. That feels more natural than going... If your chord progression is only four bars, you need to find a way to lead back to over here so it loops back and it sounds natural. And as you can see, my melody starts on a high C7, so I'm probably gonna start to like work my way back up because if I work my way back down, it's gonna be like a two octave leap, which is gonna sound like terrible. problem that we have to fix like let's start listening from over here as you can see that just sounds terrible see how it just jumps from these two notes to that so that's an example of a bad melody so now I'm just gonna show you guys how to fix this so first thing we could do is the C starting melody over here it feels kind of unnatural, so maybe we could change change it to over here somewhere. So I so I changed the melody to start on an A, which is the third of our F chord over here. That's our A. So now we have to find a way to lead back to this A. So see how that works? Because we're going from C to B to A. So see how that's a perfect loop over here? The last thing I would do is add a note over here to make the leap from the B to the C more uh, more smooth because over here we have a very like unusual interval. We're going from we're going from a B to a C, which is that's more than an octave interval and you don't really want to do that. It sounds like terrible. So So adding this G over here, it is part of the chord. It's the root of the chord, so it matches perfectly. So that's reiterating what I said about adding notes that are in the chord. The G is the most right note in this chord because it's the root, so you can always use it and it will sound good. So that's why I added the G and then it leads back down to the A over here. So now if I copy this as many times as I want, it's gonna keep going on and you can listen to it for minutes 
and it's gonna sound like it keeps going forever because that's what you want to do have like a perfect loop So that's the main tip that I was gonna give you guys is that to watch out for leading tones, make sure that if you're going from you know, a B, it leads back up to a C because you want resolution in these chord progressions. So that's the first main point. And the second main point that I want you guys to remember is uh, always add notes or when you're making a melody, start with notes that are in the chord. So if I'm in the, in the chord of F major, just start your melody with uh or start working on your melody with like f a or c those are notes that are guaranteed to sound good and uh you know just stay consistent as you can see like my melody so i hope this video was helpful in improving your melodies if you liked it give it a like and comment down below what you thought of it and if you have any video ideas make sure to suggest those in the comments and i'll see y'all later